Quat teed and the Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. some new styles for you what have you got for me today Finished? I have to go. See you soon. Until I see you next. the waves. Can't raise the sail yet. You Salskjall's got a story. Hmm, there was a tale of the man I was to... How about the tale of the return of a yard? Father was not Run always this tail. cheerful. Not when he held his spear. We are different instruments of war. Him a spear, deft blows between armor, and me a heavy blade of steel singing through it. He's beyond the bear of frost. My father lived and died by that spear, wielding it for his people and land. But few saw what it did to him. It changed him, slowly but surely. A great man nonetheless, but one further away. Isolated, 
It was a strange relief when he lost it on that fateful hunt. Robbed of his powerful relic, he took it as a sign to swell down, and he returned to being a worn, affable man. The one you remember best. The spear. It is too rigid, too unfeeling, too fragile. And when the keen edge is lost, it's just a stick. The axe, on the other hand, blunted or chipped, you always feel its weight. No, it's capacity it's for bloodletting. It's a burden. Master! We'll share a tale. Listen well, so I may tell you a tale of the berserkers, and why we keep our potent brew. A secret. Once there was a berserker named Nori Nineclaws, who became a wealthy Jarl, known for his fair and generous home. Every day, dozens of thanes, merchants, cousins, and other hangers-on ate at his table, drank his mead, and took his gifts. Finally, Nori drank out his leeches. He ordered his cooks to prepare a secret brew for a magnificent feast. He then invited every... Promising his greatest gift yet to be given after the feast. As his guests ate and drank their fill, Nori and his loyal cards slipped away. One by one, the guests entered Berserker Gangne. When the feast erupted into slaughter, Nori and his men torched the hall before feasting. Never to be seen again. Hold on, good scout. Drop the stairs! Where you the good part, yes. When the feast erupted into slaughter, Nori and his men torched the hall before fleeing on a ship. Never to be seen again. There is much olden wisdom to take away from this tale. I will let each rower think out which lesson is best for them. My favorite part of any battle is the moment before. Friends, I have often said Nya. Storm of Grantbridge. This air reminds me of the time I desperately yearned for a warm bath in Norway. So much so. But I listened to that weaseling child of Loki, Toothless Wainer. He said he knew of a lake where the water always bubbled warm. Lies, I thought. But I dared him to prove it to me. So off we went. And he was right. It was a small pool, a puddle even. A bubble it did. Take a bath, he said. I saw no reason not to, so I disrobed. As I had my pants around my ankles, there came a mighty roar. Urim and Ganders, I feared. And the next thing I knew, a great jet of hot water exploded into the air. A fucking geyser. It knocked me flat on my naked arse. Wayner stood laughing. But not for long. Because that day, he earned the name Toothless. Let's hear a story. There is no more epic a tale than this. A good nickname must carry a good story. My nickname is Bjorn Bloodtooth. And I too carry a story to go with my name. <laughs> my nickname has nothing to do with it. fish years before i became a berserker my greedy brother and i fished a mighty salmon on the orkla river the jarl of that place had offered a silver horn to the fisher who caught the heaviest fish that day 
I'd had little luck. Until suddenly, a fish as large as a pike leaped into my net. Yet it gleamed, sun gold, like a salmon shoot. I hauled the fish aboard, but once on deck it slipped my net and got free. I dove and held it down, but again it wriggled loose. I dove forward, but my greedy brother tackled me so his son could spear the fish and claim the reward. While my brother pinned my arms, I crawled forward and bit the fish, slamming it on the deck until it died. The prize was mine. Continue later. should liven our spirits. Now all your shag stories are surely dumb and swift. <laughs> I joke. You are surely the greatest lovers, every one of you. However, my stories of shagging are greater than most sagas. I once shagged in battle, inside a monastery with a kindred warrior. We finished on the altar, forgetting all gods and all spirits. You rise higher than spirits when you plow with Hygr and Abandon. I once shagged in the crook of a tree's branches, like the legs of a Jotun wrapped around us. We finished and fell to earth. A good shag is a great escape. That is my meaning in this story. If you find another, that is yours to keep. Okay, back to the swan. We'll pick up from there. Where were you? Okay, back to the swan road. <laughs> what are you doing?
Gott, das ja auch weg. Letztes Teil! Sing us a song. We need an epic tale. Have you seen the size of the sturgeons in these waters, any of you? Dwarves, most of them. But these vast cold waters hide a monster the likes I had never seen. When I was fishing with Trigvi once, I dared to believe we had hooked a giant creature, a monster worthy of song. It must have been hours into the fight. <laughs> the creature would not give. It would... Tiring, immovable, but I would not yield to a fish. I pressed on and slowly a silhouette emerged. But I would not yield to a fish. I pressed on and Slowly, a silhouette emerged from the depths. Thrice as big as our boat, then a flash of armor. Plated silver on the water's surface. A sturgeon, surely. It thrashed violently, and then it was gone. I fell off the boat. Trig cold was the water. But nothing rivaled the smart of shame, having been thwarted by our dinner. I have seen the shores of... Only a glimpse, but a glimpse was enough. I will paint it in your minds, my friends. How the wind stirs the trees, the birds cut the sky. Save it for later. I must be careful now. I will paint it in your minds, my friends. How the wind stirs the trees, the birds cut the sky, and the lands are emerald green. The swell of those rolling hills, the way the sunlight dapples the forest floor, the maidens toiling in the fields, the sweat on their breasts glistening. Oh, yes. How their firm buttocks tighten as they bend to pick sweet flowers. 
And the way they speak, even an insult sounds like an invite. What else might they do with such elegant tongues? Oh, don't say you weren't thinking the same. One day, I will make that land my own. And those maidens will be mine. <laughs> we'll pick up from there. Well, you're at the good part yet. your hand! Give me a hand with this! Give me a hand over here! Thank <laughs> you. 
can't do this alone. Help me out here! Must be blocked from the other side.
Give me a hand with this! Go, my eyes. Feel stronger already. Give me a hand! Help me out here! Let the sail Let's have a song. Is there a sea skull among you? Friends, amid all this battle, a story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I never felt a beast myself. My father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one way... We can continue later. Probably more time. Come on, Come, my wolves!
Sing, my ravens. We'll share a tale. More sail! When I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, I believed it. Remember the girl, Astrid? Save it for later.
All right. Back to the story. You remember the girl Astrid, Evo? I asked her to come with me when we left Norway, but she was to wed another. A deal her father had arranged. What are children if not pawns to their father's ambitions? He made a peace pledge to avoid the fates we ended up with. Banished. I often wonder how things would have been. Where we might have lived, what livestock we would have raised. A simple life, I hope. Out of the shadows of our heritage. <laughs> I even pondered the names of our children. Me, the free spirit, the war seeker. I was a stranger even to myself, thinking of her. But there was a stony look in her eyes when she told me she was going to go through with her father's wishes. She had a strong heart, that girl. She always knew what was the right thing to do. <laughs> but I was not yet. Is there a sea skull among you? Strange things have we seen. And perhaps the doom of the Nine Worlds is nigh. Many believe these are the end of days. Of Ragnarok much is told. So here is a smaller tale of how the Jotun Primer came to Captain Nagelfar, the ship of names. Primer dwelt in Niflheim, where his task was to lay the dishonored dead under the ice. Hard work, for many die without honor. One day, his master bade him bury one of the sons of Ymir, the frost giant from whose bones the world was made. Primer was a hard worker, but Ymir's son was the size of a mountain. Primer laid down his spade, saying, I cannot dig so much. Primer's master grew angry and picked up the spade himself. He dug and dug through hell's ice until he made a hole deep enough but the hole opened up into the abyss that is Genungaga, swallowing Primer's master whole. And Primer took his master's place. Now Primer abides in Helheim, waiting to steer the ship of the dead through the nine worlds in the war at the end of days. <laughs> Ah! 
Hey, come here a moment. Strength. Give me a hand over here.
Hey! Can't do this alone! I got the tune. Say that when we are children, we are the nobles of our little world, the rulers of moments, the glory of glee. And if I have learned anything from all of my battles, all of my wars, my days, my regrets, my victories, I always take the time to have fun. I do not apologize for it. So save your stupidest war cry for me, Birna, lover of strangeness. <laughs> Skull's got a story. Who among you has heard the tale of... I came to England too late. That is the pro... Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pot... My first day defending the walls of Grand... You lot have not fought a full camp. Do you remember Ingrid the Chicken? The one that the wretched old hermit woman used to keep? I stole her, you know. 
We had a connection, that bird and I. I would come by and feed it seeds and worms I had picked up on the way to see her. But one day, she decided to hop into my arms. A sign, I thought. She had chosen me as her master. I vowed to look after her. My young heart sang. I had always wanted a pet of sorts. So I stashed her in a corner of the house when father wasn't looking. Ingrid settled in nicely into her makeshift nest I made. Hold on, good scout. Well, you're at the good part yet. Ingrid settled in nicely into her makeshift nest I made. When morning came, I couldn't find her. Father called me over to the table more eagerly than usual. And there she was. Poor Ingrid, boiled and butchered on a plate. Not every Drop day the gods bless us with an easy meal. This one wandering right into the house? Now eat! I sat and ate my meal in silence. Raise the last! Ingrid was delicious. <laughs> this wind Sail. was here, you'll Who catch the wind? Work with me. Remain steadfast.
We sweat and toil to reach this moment. The Ancient Ones lap at my sweat now. That war sweat the Roman gods hate so much, we long for. This god, or that. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. I should not be seen in this area. of King Alfred's power, where Hawkshit stains my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cast about this land, my friend. This is your last warning! Give me Alfred's trinket or I'll piddle in your pond! You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. Winchester rules a good bishop and a strong, penny. virile man. May he find his peace with God. Not your enemy yet, but that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the holy cross. Fuck off the both of you. Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed. Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It costs me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Marry on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help. 
but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold. Centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque. A miniature of our most beatific lord, Jesus Christ. And... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? I am. And I have to tell the king I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me. Because we are Vikinger, and this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. Return the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me, or the jewel will not be the only thing you lose today. Holy splinters from the cross! All right, take it. Ja, Can out drink it all rocks. Step off. Rest from. You'll... Warlock, I'm interested. A worthy challenger. Play me. I need my daily entertainment. <laughs> Let's begin. Very well, then. Let us start. Interesting.
This will do. This will do. Interesting.
Fort. Ah, you got me. Shall we go again? I've had enough of this. Show me what lies ahead. your eyes, my friend. Jump, little flea! Jump, flea! Jump! Stop it, you prop oh, If he's rising so high, tell her I think only of her! I will show her I love her! Or die trying! What are you doing all the way up here? Try and stop me. I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an, an overripe plum, I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my uh, uh, loins. Loins, eh? Or I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you exist. But I could get it if I wanted to, just so you know. Alive! Did you see that? God sent Esso Burt an angel! Uh, is it over? Did he fall? Oh, God's buttered crumpets! I never told him I loved him! That's for him! Oi! That's cheating! If I'd known it was that easy. You would have done it yourself. Risked life and limb. But great men know the value of a champion. What will you do with such a treasure? It's for her. It's all for her. So she'll finally notice me. Athelflaed, what do you say to the sweet boy? Thank you for the flower. It is very beautiful. Now we are betrothed, and I will grow up to be a great king. And you will be my fair lady. What say you, daughter? Do you think him a worthy suitor? He risked so much to declare his love. I will tell my husband the king you claim our daughter's hand. 
when you are a little older, of course. Come, dearest. Oh, Noah's holy cow! You actually gave a flower to the princess! And now we are betrothed. Takes more than that. There's holding hands and grunting, and then sometimes praying. Oh, God! Oh, God! King Esselbert I, the Flea of Winchester. All hail the Lord of the Saxons! Esselbert the Flea! Sunen, guide me. This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh! Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush! Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here! May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke is a member of the Order as well. Hmm. The wolves biting at my skirts grow craftier by the day. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelferth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, 
His death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. I should let the Order kill you. If I made it easy for them, they might even return Sigurd to me. I would return him to you myself. If I knew where they were holding him. But Fulke's treachery has blindsided me as well. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin.
Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. Sen ein Geir ist, ach da, da hat er recht. Nun und Tag aber hat gesagt, wenn ich wollt. So wie es das hier riecht, ist mir sehr hell. For you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. You have not left the church in days. No. I have been looking at this scripture for hours. God is giving me a sign. If only I could see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes. Illuminate me, O oh Lord. Illuminate me. Send me a sign, O oh Lord. Illuminate my true path, for you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. What troubles you? God will speak to me, I know it. He will show me my true path. God's you... light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to cease his prattling. Send me a sign, O oh Lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. You are the light of the world, so do these rays mean something? Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. <clears throat> Send me a sign, O Lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. <clears throat> you
You are the light of the world. So do these pigs mean something? Lord, your light alters. Please, do not forsake me. Is the tenebrous pall of darkness my fate? Send me a signal, Lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. Leave me be. I am deep in contemplation. Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. You are the light of the world. So do these rays mean something? Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. <laughs> For you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. I must follow his beacon. You are the light of the world. So do these rays mean something? must throw off the shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and... So I have set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does.
ready off his perch. Fanus!
Are you spying on me? Max! Where's Julian at Barstan? No! That Selwyn's got some stones on him arresting Alfred's man. Yeah, you hold on. We watch each other's back! Let's believe it! Goodwin gone. One. And guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. This place is heavily guarded. <gasps> Someone help me!
Rooting around in the hay, swine. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Stop there, 
Yeah. <laughs> Evidence against the Order of Ancients, stolen from Goodwin? Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging, a husband and wife, to be carried out soon.
A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let's go, before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Thank you, my friend. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wields words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
Must be blocked from the other side. The Lord works in mysterious ways, taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Bishop Aylgrath was no man of God. Hush! Selwyn has hanged men for better thoughts.
To die, lumber into your fate. <laughs> <laughs> Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylfer, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylfer was no man of God. 
He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not sucked rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. and be welcome at our hearts. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edicts. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. Leo. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freed men, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Weave. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on them. With me! Watch for my lead! You're right for that! We keep our wits about us. See what he has found on the quill. Selwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I am sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough.
There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade.
Add Aeos Raps. Survey the area sooner. Show me. A cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? Sweep your own hearth, Alfred, if you do not like my broom. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? 
The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. I found no charm, lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver then? For my troubles. It wouldn't have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! May God curse you with boils on your face! Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Very poetic, but he... Ah, now... Do you believe in souls? A part of us that lives on with God after we die? What do you see? Get off me, you oaf! Stop struggling and give back that apple! Apple? I didn't scrabble nothing! Get the hands off me, cowbreath! Cowbreath? You little street rat! No! Get off! Someone help me! None offered this shall. Which we talk to God! Oh God! Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. He will have cleef on that bed. Yes, sir, she had ya! What nurse? God's be it! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man! You can't catch me! God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, nosy. I'm starving. Stretch your wings, Sunan. You again? 
You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? Turn around, walk away, and you keep your insides inside. All right, all right, no harm meant. Stay out of trouble, you grub mite. Ha! <laughs> that showed them! Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, this little worker beast. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? Those were the quill's meat mops. And you sent them scurrying off with their tails between their legs. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you had miracle legs. Miracle legs? They seem pretty normal to me, girl. Looks can be deceiving. Have you heard of the great Phidippides, the mighty hero of old? Ran all the way from Marathon to tell the king they won the battle. Then guess what happened? He only fell down dead. Dead? From running? It was very far. Girls can't fight. It's the rules. But like Phidippides, I'm going to be the fastest messenger who ever lived. So when the Norse defeat the Saxon armies, you'll quickly bear the bad news to your king. Them sissy britches! Fat chance! So do you want to race or not? I've beaten everyone else in the whole world. In that case, let's run. Let's see these...
No other Saxon has been able to keep me on my toes like you, little one. I never thought I would be beaten, but you run like the wind. I'm glad I had a real challenge. And I am glad to have given you one. Do you like interesting places? I've run all over Wessex, found some scary, spooky magic spots. Exploring such is what I live for. I'll give you my diary. I call it the many wondrous runnings of the galloping miracle legs. Bye-bye. Have a look, Sunan. Be my eyes, Sunan. I should watch out for a mouse trap. today. There's never enough food. I'm always starving.
Everyone died for pretty things and left me alone on the, the streets. Bassus' stealing is wrong. I'm going to marry King Alfred, and he's going to whisk me away from all this toil. Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A broodmare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Time to die! No!
Come, child. Whisper what you've learned. And Mother will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. My Order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated! And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. Save 
found us! Lula! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
There's drinking to be done! Who's with me? Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane. Old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. Your English mead, Goodwin? It tastes like cat piss. In Mercia, we would drink ten times this, and feast till our names were forgotten and our bridges were lost to the forest. Does that happen? As often as possible. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Come raise a Whether you find or make it, some silver. meet me at the Witten with your report. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Did you know Bishop Elfrith? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Elfrith, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are... Uh... Sleeping? Oh, perfect, yes. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Elfrith? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once had them quarreling at a Witten. Stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elfrith? 
Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Are we friends now? I am sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death. Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! Remain steadfast! Oh, God! Get round the side! Only his head and neck are burned. Is this what Wemper meant? That they stole his friend's face? And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Elfirth was a brute. Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside, and Aelforth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool.
See you, old friend. Gaston! Fluga! Who the little monster? Past, Anglo Saxons prospered. The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not a priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? <laughs> Aelfirth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, <laughs> enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd oh. our flock. The king is... <laughs> How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us.
Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness, but this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Have a look, Sunan. If Elfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Elfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it.
It's new leather. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither... He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred!
I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here.
Easy now. Something's not right. Serve some purpose. Easy now. the driver.
Your gratitude is touching. Gratitude? That was my prize fighting bear you killed. How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you're living at all. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty. You're welcome. Please enjoy life as a beggar. You've ruined me, and you don't care. No one cares. What a world. What a world. Maybe pick a small animal to abuse next time. Farewell. That cursed animal tried to kill me. I should have beaten it more while I had the chance. I watched you on your approach. How must it feel not to carry the weight of years? I am not a child. Yet I see in you a child's blissful ignorance of the world's darkest truths. A fool. You gathered all this from a glance. In this way, I am wise. Perhaps you will learn better through flighting. I will challenge you. I accept, and I'll place a wager on it. Here is my bet. You may begin. You are savage, uncouth, and care little for life. Like the rest of your kind, you breed misery and strife. Both your hands bear the blood of one thousand dead men. One thousand of pittance, it's closer to ten. Hmm. Not the worst. It's a shame you're so calloused by warfare and pain. That you'll joke about death and treat life with disdain. Is it worth it? The killing, the torture, the slaves. Yes, I am ridding the world of cowards, weaklings, and knaves. It pains my ears. Yes, your avarice means that you'll just never see that this war will not grant immortality. You have one life to live, so why throw it away? ...to ensure that I'll sit in Valhalla one day. Enough! I've heard more than my fill of your cruelty. Take your winnings. May spending them bring you fleeting joy. I promise it will.
Don Quixote? Sure. Be brave, Kenrick. Do it for Evelyn. You pace about like a dog afraid of a beating. What troubles you? Oh, stranger. Here's a tale. I love Evelyn, a hunter's daughter. But the hunter's a fearsome fellow. Set me a task, he did. There's an arrow stuck in that tree above that the hunter once fired there. Before any man can have Evelyn, they need to climb up and get it. Many suitors have tried. All failed. Looks like child's play to me. Maybe I can help. Oh, you do mean to help me. God bless you. A lynx. And he does not like visitors. the arrow proof of your boundless courage oh thank you stranger i'll name our firstborn in your honor swear i will uh what is your name eivor eivor eh huh. well maybe just something that rhymes with it then would that do i found the other suitors a lynx had made its lair up there a hunter like ethelin's father would have known that oh uh, surely an innocent mistake but I must bring him the arrow. He'll be so pleased someone's got it at last. I found a letter from Etheland. Seems she didn't think much of you. You were far from her first choice. Oh, I know. She's made no secret of that. But now they're dead, and I'm not. So tra-la-la! I'm sure her father would be thrilled. my father talking to the others he said you were his child now so so that makes me your brother you are welcome to this family now we will grow together and feast together and scamper over the snows together I hope that pleases you it pleases me 
What is it you are building now? Two homes or a hill in the mountain? This is my father, Varian. And this is Shopvit the Cruel. Uh. Ah! Lean on me. I will lead you home.
Drink it all, rocks. Step oh, up. Oh, You'll oh, see for yourself. Oh. The clavor that you may rather fall in the world.
brother. God's justice awaits, coward!
Keep the rat busy! the side.
Very tuned. Play it again, <laughs> Saxon. The Lord made me and the Lord... You there, Dane! Come join your fellows. Music is my gift to you all. The... Here's a merry gathering. A Saxon playing for Norsemen. What joy a man gives is given back threefold. So my love used to say, Dear Chiro. I sing now for her. Used to. Used to. But now is no time for sadness. Join our revels. I was about to open a cask for my new friends. Come one, come all! Nothing heals the heart of woe like a mug of ale. You look like the sort who laps at their brew like a kitten. Wrong. 
Thor himself pales when he sees me take up my drinking horn. Ha! Come and prove it then! Saxon, give us a song! The Lord made me, and the Lord made thee, and the Lord made hops and barley. Show me how the Raven Clan drink. You'll be under the table before I've even. Oh -ho! So if you would close to heaven be, have another rail or three. Drink some mead and drink some rum. <laughs> spreading through me. This is poisoned ale. Oh, feels like Jormungandr is turning in my stomach. Why, Odin, this new ale is strong. A hundred lives I, think I'm going I promised my love as she lay dying. A Danish arrow in her breast. A hundred lives for hers. But there is one who has not been laid low. Let me see to that. God, my head. I'll grant you the long piece of the grave. Murderer, Reaver, death to all Danes. Even second, I am more than three quarters. It won't be me that dies today. Skittering away there! My head! I'll grant you the long piece of the grave! myself here. Just my family. I love them more than anything. And the families who fell by the Order's command. Were they not worthy of love? You are a Dane. How can you speak of the value of a life? 
All our ranked is less than the axe to you. Not true. I see honor in many people, many places. You have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. Mongrel! Watch my lead! <laughs> now. You seem distressed. So would you be, if your every crop of turnips was demolished by a horde of mangy horrors? I assume you mean the rabbits in that field. Aye, them. Then I'd put rats with ears stuck on. I'd slay them if I could, but they're too damn fast. When I catch you, I'll impale you, maim you, send you to bunny hell. That's right, get in there, mash the little bunny heads in! Go on, nail those bobtailed little shits! Three less pesky vermin bastards in the world! What have they done to you? Just taking care of business, Alston. I warned you what would happen if you let them in my turnip patch again. Oh, my babies! They're not to blame. How could you? 
You've gone too far this time, wife. My dice hand is itching for a challenger. I do miss the rattling of luck. Have a seat, will you? Let us play. All right, then. Come. Well. This will do.
I'm getting good at this. An overwhelming defeat. I must reclaim my name. Let us go again. Another time, perhaps. Time to feed the crows.
These hidden ones, is that who you slave for? I slave for none. I am scrapping England clean of its filth for the safety of my people. Ah, uh, listen. Do you hear? The excuses of a mind enslaved. <laughs> Make sure you look at my new designs. I would like to see what you have in stock.
Nothing more? I must take my leave. So long. Until next time, Eivor! Ulfgeir, so glad to see you. I'll see. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Evo. and Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one.
May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. Ah, look at how powerful. You like the looks of that one? Ready for battle. I have to go. Put that gear to good use out there. What have you got for me today? Can't have too many. Perfect. I'll happily take this. Almost jealous at what a good purchase you've made. You know you have use for this. Is that everything? I'll see you. Don't be a stranger. <gasps> I have something that may interest you. Only a true fisherman could catch this one. Not even Grandfather has caught one. Thanks, Eivor. I must... Come visit again soon. I brought something for you. We always have need for this. Excellent. I could really use this. I knew I could count on you. I'd pay well for this. I'm looking for this. Nothing else. I must be up. Hope to see you again soon. Cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. 
He... or she... is toying with you, it seems. I have... Then go in... Take a look at the new maps I made. I would like to see what you have. This could be very useful. Your map has been revised. I'm here if you need anything more. I'm off. Keep exploring. 